It's the end of World War II, and General Patton gives the orders for the Third Army to push through West Bohemia. It's what we now know as the Czech Republic. And on a Sunday at 8 o'clock in the morning on the 6th of May, American tanks appeared on the streets of Pilsen, liberating the city from Nazi Germany. Starting in 1948, Pilsen was controlled by the Soviet Red Army. They suppressed all acknowledgement of the U.S. Army's role in liberating the city. This continued until 1989, when the communists were removed from power. Fast forward to today, and you can see the people of Pilsen freely commemorating and celebrating the end of World War II with the liberators of their city, American soldiers. And we have been taught at school during the past that we have been liberated by Russians dressed in American uniforms, but everybody knew it. It's a completely spontaneous festival. Nobody has to force people to come here and enjoy it. You, you feel the atmosphere. In 1945, Americans had to fight to be on these streets. And now, 65 years later, they're being honored. It's amazing that the, uh, the Czech people uh, honor our veterans in this manner after 65 years. You don't see this most other places in the world. Every year, the people of Pilsen celebrate the day their city was liberated. So no one will forget what some young American soldiers did 65 years ago. Reporting from Pilsen, Czech Republic, I'm Specialist Elliot Valdez, AFN News. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Washington.